Hello friends, welcome to JavaFX GUI tutorial. In this video, we are going to see how to use tree view control and we will design the FXML document and place the tree view control in the stage. So when we are designing, we will place a anchor pan and inside the anchor pan, we will include the border pan and in the central location of the border pan, we can use the tree view control. And the indicator here shows that where you are adding the tree view control. That means here, uh, here the icon shows that you are adding the tree view control to the center portion of the border pan. After this, we will create a variable for our tree view control and we will call that as tree view simple. So we will use this TV simple in the controller code. All right, now let's go to the demo and design this form. Previously, we created the example for table view control. Now, we will right click the same project. I mean the package, we will choose new, other. Here, we are choosing empty FXML. Here we will place fx tree view example. So that's the fx27 tree view example. That's the name we are giving here. Then we will place a tick mark here to use the controller. And if you see the controller is named as fx027 tree view example controller so we will leave all other as a default so what we did is we just placed a tick mark here and we are choosing the default name given to the controller and we are not using any style sheet so we no need to go to the fourth step and we can click finish here So to represent the tree view here, if you see, we created a 16 class, 16 bitmap and here is the bitmap and then we pasted that bitmap here. So if you create a bitmap, place it somewhere in your folder, then right click, copy that and you can choose here and do paste. So that way you can create a bitmap. 16 class 16 in the sense if you see here MS Paint. Then you can raise the bar to 800 percentage zoom. So this is how that specific control was, I mean the specific icon was created. So at 100% zoom, you can see how the icon looks so this is 16 class 16 so you can save that to specific location 
then right click the file and choose paste here so that way you can create the icon file in the same location now let's go to the fxml designer here i am clicking open so already we have anchor pen so in the container we need to add border pan so this is the border pan just drag and drop it over the anchor pan and if you expand here you can see top left center right hand bottom portion now we will expand this border pan to occupy the complete width and height of the anchor pan then we will collapse this container go to controls so here is the tree view drag and drop it to the center portion so once i place the cursor you can see here how it looks right this is top portion left right bottom and center portion you can either use this visual indicator to drop the item or you can directly place on the specific location here i am using the visual indication and dropping it and you can see tree view is staying in the center portion of the border pan and border pan is contained by other anchor pan now let's save this and we will pick the tree view and name this as tv simple tv here we are abbreviating that as a tree view simple is the name we are giving tv is simple press the enter button go to view show sample controller skeleton let us copy this now we can go to the controller so in the controller we are placing that specific fxml entry alright we are done with that so that's all with the form design here I am saving it we will do a build once if you see here we don't have any main entry as part of our previous subseries we already created a, a project to explore the table view and we already have a main entry point and it loads table view fxml right what we can do we can just replace this table view fxml with our new fxml file so just now you saw the demo in the demo we created the fxml entry for tree view control exploration thank you for watching bye